think a lot of the times in uh, conferences and especially at the UN, we're always like, youth, 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 like you can do it, you're leaders of today. But I just want to acknowledge, like, it is not easy. As a woman, safety, equality, dignity are not guaranteed afforded rights to us anymore. It's, not, it's a privilege for a select few. If young people are not involved in agriculture now, then in 20 years of time, like we will, have, we will face a very big uh, food insecurity. I sit on a few boards where um, the youth, it, a youth representative is at the table, but our voice is kind of ignored, and we're there as just this token. Whenever you find sector that is accessible to young people and to their energy, you see how these sectors are being like regularly revolutionized and they uh, change entire industries with their innovation and genuine ideas. This creates kind of, uh, you know, like I want to do something. These are some of the world's toughest challenges that like governments and adults haven't, a haven't been able to solve. You can't fight for your rights and responsibilities in this world if you don't know what they are. Math is very simple, you know, when you look to the numbers. Half of the world's population under 25 years of age, we have 17 goals and we have 14 years to achieve them. I think this uh, almost impossible to achieve these goals without full participation of young, of young people. The message to young people is don't apologize for your voice. Don't apologize for exerting your sense of agency. If you think something is wrong, challenge it. You have to show the other people that you, you have something to offer. No need to reinvent the wheel, right? Let's make it spin. Inequality is, is probably the defining challenge in, uh, for our generation. And this is when we can look towards the SDGs as an inspiration platform, as opposed to saying, this makes no sense to me. But look at it and be like, you know what, this is a blueprint that I need to follow. Think of this planet as your personal property and then take care of it. It belongs to you, not to us.